Hello, everyone. Welcome to Movie Community College. Hello, everybody. I am Dave Banerjee. Okay. We've talked about this before. What's you're, up, buddy? You're Jeremy. Your comments make you're me laugh. You're Jeremy, my husband. I'm Tish the Warrior Queen, um, also known as India's auntie. And I am known as the Fist of Fury. Okay. So what are we doing today, dear? Uh, we're going to do a uh, reaction video. I'm going to show Very you a good, video. Very good, but what are we react reacting to, to? It is the Jews of Calcutta. Kolkata, please. It's not what Banerjee says. He says Calcutta, not what you just said, um, but it's also known as Kolkata. Now, before we play and this... And the title of this does say Kolkata. Uh, this ought to be interesting because you are part Jewish. I am part Jewish, this is true. Yes. Yes. And I am a Goyim. Goyim. This yes. Is, no, you are a Goy... Plural of goy would well, be there's goyim. Multiple of me. Goyim. So, let's do this, shall we? And I've actually seen this before. You haven't. I have not. Is it good? It, it is good. London, it might not be London, as some claim, but the architecture of Kolkata is a big part of its charm. And not like many know buildings. that some of Kolkata's major landmarks were built not by the British but by Jews. The Jewish community in Calcutta still owns three synagogues, three schools, and the cemetery in Nargil Langa. Jews go anywhere for trade. So the Jews who came to Calcutta, the first Jew to come to Calcutta, that was Shalom Obadia Cohen, came for trade. They moved between Bombay, Colombo, Calcutta, uh, Rangoon, Singapore, Singapore, Hong Kong, Hong Kong, Shanghai, and all the way down to Jakarta. Small merchant ships that went up and down doing trade in timber, in, in animals, and in birds, and uh, plants. At its largest, which was during the Second World War, we were between five and six thousand. <laughs> About 22 to 23 of us. <clears throat> Not many. Immediately after the Second World War, there were three things that happened. One was that places, colonies like Australia and Canada, opened their doors to immigration. Then you had Indian independence. And yep. the year after that, you had the establishment of the State of Israel. Business people and landowners and things like that were afraid that they might, their properties, their businesses might be nationalized and they might not get uh, satisfactory compensation for that. They sold out and left. Some of them gave up very good jobs here to go and live in, um, basically in tents in Israel in the early years. Jews at this time lived in the area that is bounded by the synagogues, the masjid, uh, Bo Barracks, and uh, the police station. There was China Para, the Jewish area, Parsis and Armenians. This was what the, what the British called the gray area. The black area was Indian, white was European, and the middle people were gray. Came to a point when one Jewish girl was nearly baptized. You forget that this British time of proselytizing was big. The insular Jewish society built their own schools, opened their own clubs, and kept their social mingling strictly kosher. And in the 1940s, when the country burned, they were left untouched. In 1946, I went to New Delhi. That was like today going to the moon <laughs> for a girl, a Jewish girl. So Why do you want to go to Delhi of all places? So far away, 1,000 wow. miles away. Mm. Took me two and a half days to get to Delhi. Mm. I saw everything. Mm. I saw the bloodshed, I saw the partition, I saw the famine of Bengal. And uh, for me, it was very impressionable because it was impressionable age. I saw great Calcutta killing here when Gandhiji came to try to stop it. It was something 
I'll never forget this scene. There was a pregnant woman, heavily pregnant, and she was on the road and there was a mob around her and the man had a knife to her stomach. And he was just about to kill her. I ran out and I tried to save her, me and my brother. And they, we, were so, we, we were so naive because we knew that they would not touch us. We were not one bit frightened because it was, they told us, I'd never forget what I saw and I often wonder what happened to that woman. Fla Silliman lives with a daughter, Yil, wow. in a house that's almost like a museum of Jewish artifacts. Mm. Given the state of their numbers, Yale decided to create a digital archive of the Jews of Kolkata. Calcutta is in my blood. So when I retired prematurely, I made a direct beeline to get back to Calcutta and love being here. Yale Silliman is a fourth generation Calcutan Jew who, unlike her peers, decided to come back. But for the rest, Kolkata was just another stopover on their journey. So what happens to the Jewish heritage after them? We have just set up, about six months ago, a controlling trust, which will be like a holding company for all our institutions. And I was in the States a month ago trying to find uh, possibly an organization there that might be interested in supervising what goes on in Calcutta. So we are also looking towards the communities that still exist in Singapore and Hong Kong, which are much closer to us. We are also looking to, towards them to see whether they might be interested in and capable of supervising what would be happening here. And that's the tragic truth. The last remnants of Jews on Calcutta's soil will be looked after by those sitting in foreign lands. From the time of the Romans to the Babylonians to the Greeks to the Germans to everybody has done something against the Jews, but not the Indians. Indians can hold a he India can hold a head high and proud to say that we were never, never discriminated against. And not only that, Jews have had big positions. General Jacob became the governor of two states. General Jacob was the army general. He was a Jew. DJ Cohen was a judge in the high court. One thing that living in India gives you is a strong sense of possibly fatalism. The Bengali has an expression for it. Uh, if it is our fate to be the last flicker of the Jewish candle in Calcutta, that's it. It happens everywhere. There are many synagogues have been destroyed and damaged. At least here, ours are still standing in spite of the ASI largely that it is the city's loss because the city is losing its cosmopolitan edge. But beyond that, as far as we are concerned, c'est la vie. Yes, it is the city's loss. A city that became home to its guests from Baghdad now holds on to the remains of the last Jews of Kolkata. It's pretty good, huh? Uh, it's very good. Yeah. It's very good. Yeah, I saw that some time ago, before we even had our channel. Oh, we're going to share it. Don't you worry. <laughs> um, yeah, I before we even had our channel, I saw that video. And really? Yeah, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I loved it. So. Um, yep. hmm. There is something that that is, and you can attest to this because you've known me since I was nineteen. Young. Mm -hmm. Uh, Anati, Anat, but um, I, I'm misremembering his name. Young man. Anant. Anant. I was his age when I met you. That is true. I was he his age. is 19. Yes. Happy uh, birthday, by the way. His birthday Anant. is very close to our son's birthday. I am the Raman Ragvi of the Hindi language. I kill it. Wish him a happy birthday. Happy birthday, young it's man. It's very close to our happy son's birthday. Happy birthday. Yes. Um, and one of the things that I was taught about the Jews. Uh, was the Abrahamic covenant. Mm -hmm. Yes. And it goes something along the lines of from God, Yahweh yes. says, blessed is he who is kind to the Jews, cursed is he who is is an enemy of the Jews. And I've always taken Jews personally. Yes. When I am at work and I hear somebody say something about don't be a Jew, 
in a derogatory hate sense or you're a heeb yeah, I hate being that. Hebrew, yeah. I will stop and say, <clears throat> don't say yeah. that in my presence. Yeah, I don't I don't want to hear that. Do you yeah, understand? Because offensive. of that comp. We have a friend who is Jewish, um, and um, he gave us a Shema. Yes, he did. And we have the Shema posted. Yes. Uh, at our front door, like right. you're supposed to, and right. it's it's the blessing of the house. Yes, and uh, from Deuteronomy chapter six in the Old Testament. And apparently, you know, because sometimes mm -hmm. people will say you're anti-Semitic. Uh, oh no, I have a child that says I'm not. I love the Jews. Yeah, I don't. I know. have a couple myself. Yeah, sometimes people in their ignorance think, yes, yes. well, you're a Christian, therefore you're um, anti-Semitic. Yes, well, I am not at all. I don't know why you would think that because. Um, the second half of our Bible, the New yes. Testament, um, is linked with the first half of the yes, Bible, yes. which is the Old Testament. Well, and I think people Jewish get the, in nature, and Jesus is Jewish. They get the wrong idea about Christianity. Yeah, I, I think because like, they don't like understand. One of the things that has, has come up with our discussion with our friends in India is Catholicism. And it's which is not, not Christianity. Yes, no, not no, Catholics Christianity, will tell you that, but we are but of a, a, a specific sect. I guess would be the, the proper term. And if you are truly Christian, you will obey the Bible. Yes. The Bible. Yes, the Bible. Not man's traditions, the yes. Bible. Yes, yes. Um, going back to what you said with the Abrahamic covenant, mm -hmm. um, this is actually found in the Old Testament book of Genesis, chapter mm -hmm. 12, where God himself says, yes. I to and about the nation of Israel, what mm -hmm. will become the nation of mm -hmm. Israel. I will bless those who bless, bless you, you and I will curse those, those who curse, curse you. you. So, yes, in, we take that in, very seriously. In India, uh, you I, have been yes, a blessing to You the have Jews. been a blessing to Israel, yes. and God will bless you for that. Yes, yes. I have no doubt about that. And we bless you for that, yes, too. Yes, and you, and you bless us. Yes, absolutely. And it's going to be mutual blessings. Blessings all the way around. Blessing. Yeah. Do you remember, uh, you remember that dude we knew who had that little boy? And he would say, God bless, God bless you. you. And he said yes, it in his little accent. Yes, yes. yes. It was yes. always so. It was always so. Yes. Anyways. Whenever people would sneeze. Anyways. Yes. Anyhow, hope you enjoyed this little presentation of the last Jews of Kolkata. Would you like to say anything? I love you, India. Bye. <laughs> That's all, folks.